Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. This is Deepak Bari, and today I'm gonna show you the basic configuration of Telnet in Cisco Packet Tracer software. If you are discussing about the Telnet, so the Telnet is a small program used by network engineers, network administrators for maintaining the network devices over a network through a remote location. So now we need to open the Cisco Packet Tracer. And this scenario is very clear. We need to implement a switch and couple of end devices that is PCs. Just so just select a switch from here. Whatever the series you like, you can implement here. And select some PCs. Hold down the control key for multiple selection. It's a good idea. So these are the four PCs is for our clients and this is one PC which is for the network administrator which will maintain the basic configuration through the telnet. Okay so the cable connection is completed right now. As you can see the couple of devices which is isolated from this device. So that is belongs for the network administrator which will control the whole network through the telnet. Now just press the escape key. And just go to the switch and go to the CLI tab of the switch. Expand this. Okay, one thing which I would like to clear with you, whatever we are giving the command here, it will work both in Cisco routers and Cisco switches, okay? So we don't need to change anything while we are configuring telnet, whether in the Cisco router within the or the Cisco switch. So just give the enable key. So just give the enable command from here and just go to the configure terminal. For telnet configuration, we need an IP which is dedicated for the management and sometimes it refers to as a management IP address by which a network administrators can access your devices the network devices for making some changes or administrating them. So we will so we need to assign those IP address within the VLAN. In our case we will use the VLAN one. So just give the command interface VLAN 1 and assign the IP address in my case I am giving the 10.100 and you could give any one of them whatever it took within the range and the default subnet mask and hit the enter key and finally just enabling the port give this command no shutdown now the next step is exit from here and just go to the, the line configuration mode by giving this command line vty 0 to 15 that means we are giving the telnet access within the virtual terminal Now give the telnet password by typing the password command password telnet at the rate 1 to 3 4 so whatever you like you can give your own password whatever you choose that is not necessary to give the telnet at the rate 1 to 3 4 this is for the experimental purpose I gave the telnet at the rate 1 to 3 4 and just hit down the enter key and the next step is for giving this command login that means whenever we will connect the telnet it will ask the password now hit the return key or the enter key then exit from here here also now save your configuration into a startup config file Uh, 
uh, it's completed just close this CLI tab and now we need to open this PC just go to the desktop tab and command prompt give the following command sorry one thing which we need here we need to assign all the IP addresses in the following pieces but it's not needed right now we need to give the IP address on this administrator PC only so just give the IP address for that class that is 192.168.10. Suppose this is the 10.2 and the default subnet mask for the class C IP address. Now it's everything is going on. We don't need to assign IP addresses in this PC. We are just connecting this PC for checking this link state with this switch. And we will do something by using the tail net. Just go to the command prompt again and type here the telnet and the management IP address which we gave in the VLAN 1 interface that was the 10.100 and as you can see it trying and as you can see it connected and it requires the user access verification which we need to give the user access verification that means we need to give the password which which we have already assigned for the telnet so give the telnet at the rate one two three four and now as you can see it prompts me just like a cisco ios cli that means we are within the switch cli mode and just give the enable key and it says no password set so we need to set a password within this switch for accessing this user privilege mode for the switch which is the configure terminal enable password admin and then one three four this command tells to ios that whenever we will execute or access our user privilege mode so this password will require in order to execute that so just hit the return key or the enter key and save this configuration file again copy run config to startup config there we go Now just give the enable command from here. Now it requires a password. Now I am giving this admin at the rate 1234. Now as you can see I am within the user exec mode of this switch. So I can do anything from here. Suppose I would like to shutting down a port within this group of PC. So I am just selecting one. Just go to the configure terminal. And I'm selecting for the first Ethernet. First Ethernet 0 by 3, which is for PC1, I guess. And just give the command shut down. So that means whenever we will give this command, so the PC cannot access the network outside the switch. So this was for the PC2 and as you can see the result it turns green from the red so that means the link is getting down. So just give the command again and no shut down and it's enabled again. So through the telnet you can do anything you can manage your network devices but the problem is whenever you will use the telnet program for managing your devices whatever you are giving the command even your username and password it will display within the network as a clear text because telnet communication uses the clear text mode and for that reason if anyone in your network which is using the wireshark or any other software like that so they can sniff your frames and packets 
over the network and whatever you give the commands your passwords and your configurations everything they can see clearly because it uses the clear text for the reason nowadays everybody uses the ssh2 so in the later videos we will cover the ssh2 configuration in cisco routers and switches so hope you guys understand about what's the telnet about why it is not using in these days if you have still any kind of questions and doubts so you can write down below the comment box and thanks for watching this video and guys see you in the next video